Well, hello guys and welcome to another interesting math puzzle. It's a beautiful day today and thus it's only fair that I bring you a problem no less beautiful. This problem comes from an article in The Guardian authored by Alex Bellos or Belos. A link to the article is in the description of this video, so please check it out. Okay, to the problem then. This problem first appeared 20 years ago in an exam given to 18-year-olds in 16 countries. Only 10% got the correct answer. Now if you think the solution involves advanced math concepts, let me tell you that solving this puzzle needs math skills most 11 to 13-year-olds have. So that said, here is the problem. A string is wound symmetrically around a circular rod. The string goes exactly four times around the rod. The circumference of the rod is 4 cm and its length is 12 cm. Find the length of the string. Please pause the video and give the problem a shot and don't forget to return for the answer. Okay, welcome back. Did the three-dimensional aspect of the problem scare you? Well, this is what I did. I got hold of a circular rod, some string and a pen. I then wrapped the paper on the rod and wrapped the string over the paper. I also drew the outline of the string over the paper. And finally, I removed the paper from the rod and this is what it looked like. And this is really pretty cool, right? Would you have imagined that this is what the outline would look like? And what is even more interesting is that this is a simple math problem to solve. All I need to know is the length of one hypotenuse to get the length of the string. So if the length of this hypotenuse is x, then the length of my string is 4x. So let's use the Pythagoras theorem to get x. We have x square is equal to 4 square plus 3 square or x square is equal to 16 plus 9 or x square is equal to 25 or x is equal to 5. So, good people, the length of my string is 4 times 5 or 20 centimeters. I have left out a few minor details in the solution. For example, how did we get 4 out here? Well, 4 is nothing but the circumference of the circle, which becomes the height of my rectangle. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have comments, I would also like to hear from you. My name is Sanjay and I make weekly math videos. Thanks a lot and bye for now.